Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast. And this is my review of The Outlaws, a Korean crime film from 2017 that could be classified as an action-drama hybrid. Now do not confuse The Outlaws from 2017 with The Outlaw from 2010, which is a fairly unknown Korean thriller that I do not recommend. Stay away from it. And speaking of fairly unknown Korean films, The Outlaws from 2017 actually reminded me a bit of Wild Card from 2003, uh, an impressive Korean gangster film that was memorable for the viciousness of its antagonists, you know, something that it has in common with The Outlaws. Now, I've been meaning to rewatch Wild Card for ages, and I think it's time to finally track it down and, and revisit it, so maybe I'll do a review of that one at some point in the future. But with regard to the outlaws, it opens with the following backstory. Since the 1990s, Chinese Koreans settled in Garibong district in Seoul and formed a Chinatown. Chinese Korean gangsters from the same region created new gangs of varying sizes that became active in the late 90s and early 2000s. Now this film is based on the 2004 Chinese Korean gang mop-up operation that was conducted by Seoul police. So our main character is a cop, played by Don Sok Ma, who is an old school fellow with some bravado, and he's been protecting the peace in his city with his strong fists and bold spirit. But a serious problem arises, in the form of a man by the name of Jiang Chen, who has recently moved into the Chinatown area of Seoul, and now works as a loan shark who uses vicious methods to collect money with the help of his bloodthirsty henchmen. So our cop protagonist decides to hunt down Jiang Chen, and put an end to this man's uprising criminal organization that has you know, really turned the neighborhood into a bloodbath. So, you know, when you think of this character, our protagonist, and you think in idealistic terms, you know, Ma's character would probably be considered a failure as a cop because he seems to avoid arresting criminals despite his frequent interactions with them. But in terms of practicality, he does a fine job of keeping the gangs in check by allowing them to conduct their business as long as they do not cause significant distress in the community. And the gangs, most of the time, cooperate and follow along. So as an example, near the very beginning of the film this happens, a low-level gangster gets stabbed by a rival gang. So the boss gets his boys together and prepares for some payback, but the boss tells his guys not to kill anyone in retaliation. So the viewer immediately understands that these, you know, these gangs in the area have their limits. You know, they have their limits, despite the fact that they hate one another. And of course, our protagonist cop shows up to settle everyone down and negotiate a truce. You know, that's how things work around here. That is, until this Jang Chen guy shows up and begins just brutally murdering gang members to mark his own territory and expand it. And this creates like a... I don't know, a butterfly effect, I guess you could call it. And that's one, th one of the interesting things about the outlaws, because the other gangs begin to take some uncharacteristically extreme measures to defend themselves against this new threat. And meanwhile, our cop, uh, our cop protagonist is trying to like manage the situation. Things are just getting out of control. So Don Suk Ma is really great in this lead role, I think. You know, there's a certain likability to this guy which uh, should not surprise those of you who have seen Train to Busan or The Royal Tailor, and he played supporting roles in those films. There's a scene in The Outlaws where he asks a gangster to give himself up and put his knife directly into the evidence bag. Like, he, like, walks up to the guy, he's like, come on, just, just put the knife in the bag and let's go. You know, like, you don't want a piece of me, you know what I mean? I found that to be pretty funny. In another scene, he takes the same guy back to the, uh, the police, uh, I guess, uh, office area, uh, police station, and uh, he says, you know what, you're going to the truth room. Take him to the truth room. And he puts a motorcycle helmet on the guy and kind of slaps him around a little bit. So it's, uh, it's one of the things I like about this actor is he tends to portray comedy in ways that are funny without being a total clown about it. You know, he doesn't overact too much. I like that about him. And it's also important for, the, for an actor to have personality in a film like this, because the premise is rather commonplace, right? I mean, we've all seen a million gangster movies at this point. There's really nothing new about the outlaws, so to speak, so having a compelling lead actor is a big plus here. And then we have Ki Sang-yoon, who is sufficiently intimidating in the villain role 
No, I did not recognize this guy until I looked up his Asian wiki page. And the reason for that is because this, this character is so different from anything he's done previously. I didn't even recognize the actor. I, uh, I actually thought I had the wrong actor when I looked up his profile. I'm like, this isn't the same guy. But it is the same guy who played the, uh, the supporting male lead in the popular K-drama, The Greatest Love. And uh, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's, uh, mad props to this guy for transforming himself into being a convincing, I don't know, a convincingly dark villain. You know what I mean? Even though his character is written in a fairly shallow manner, he does a very good job of what's given to him. And uh, I'm looking, uh, this guy's on my list of, of actors to check out. He's got some, some chops. Good job. There's also some, some uh, pretty good action in the movie, mostly in the form of uh, fist fights and uh, fights involving weapons like blunt objects and knives. There are two highlight moments of action in this film, one of which involves a fire extinguisher, and the other is a vicious slugfest in a bathroom. And both of those scenes, you're like, man, this is it's nicely violent and hard-hitting and impactful. It's good. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I like the kind of, these kind of gangster flicks that have a little bit of impact to the violence. So overall, I think The Outlaws is a, is a very entertaining film. You know, like I mentioned earlier, there's really nothing new here. And uh, if you're sick of gangster films, you're not going to find anything here that's going to change your mind. Uh, the villains, as I said, are, are thinly written as well, which could be considered another flaw. But those are probably the film's biggest flaws, in my opinion. But if you're in the mood for some gangster war, you know, cinema... This should be right up your alley. And it is available on Region 3 DVD with English subtitles. And as always, I'll see you next time.